Now to continuing coverage. Last month we showed you the Johnson family that's recovering from the Heart River flooding. Their property was damaged and livestock lost. Our Sanji Milburn followed up with them to see how they're coping. Oh, we love you so much. Yes, we do. It's a happy time for the Johnson family, but it's been weeks of recovery to get here. About a month ago, a four-foot tidal wave of the Heart River flood hit the family, damaging property and their livestock. It was nasty. It was. Yep, you can see the gate. It went up to the fourth rung of the gate there. You can kind of see that. It went up to the middle of our barn, and the water was just gushing right through our property all the way to the Missouri. They were stranded for days. We had our cars parked up on the pavement a mile up the road because the water would have been this deep right through here. As you can see over my shoulder, we had to use our tractor to get back and forth that mile. Now they're left picking up the pieces of a place they've called home for 13 years. Thankfully, the water did not hit the house, but the animals weren't so lucky. Because of the flood, the Johnson family lost a lot of sheep, but those that survived gave birth to baby lambs. Making it an Easter, the Johnson family will never forget. Three sheep passed away during the flood. I was upset, but I thought way more than three died. So I was super grateful when I heard, and when we came over by the barn and our waiters, that 10 of them were still there and are still alive. They were all pregnant, the three that died. Scott's daughter, Ruby, is part of the NDSU Starter Flock Program where she learns the sheep industry, from caring for them to selling them. And in the future, she hopes to make a career out of it. Sheep are so innocent. There's, they can't fight for themselves, and they just need a strong shepherd to take care of them. And I just want to just love them. <laughs> Although the family lost a lot, this tragedy brought them closer, with each other and their animals. Come on, Ziggy, give me a kiss. Come on, let's get on TV. Come here. Reporting in Mandan, Sanji Milburn, KX News. This isn't the first flood the Johnson family underwent, but they say it was one of the worst.